Now you may have heard of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, but I have a different story for you. Instead of talking about Goldilocks, let's think about Pythagoras. Because Pythagoras didn't really worry about three bears. He cared about three triangles. Because we know Pythagorean theorem as our way to deal with sides in a right triangle. Because if we have a right triangle, then the hypotenuse squared, or its longest side, is equal to the sum of the lengths of the other two sides, which we call legs, squared. Now, Pythagoras and his three triangles, or Goldilocks we could think of it, weren't worried about that theorem, but more importantly, the converse. Because the converse let us figure out if we had a right triangle. Because if we had that the longest side squared was equal to the sum of the lengths of the other two sides squared, then you had a right triangle. So Pythagoras went walking through the woods and came across a cottage, and inside that cottage was three triangles. And he walked up to the first triangle, and he looked at that triangle and noticed its longest side was greater than the sum of the lengths of the other two sides squared. And because it was greater than, it reminded him of an angle that's bigger than 90. And when that angle is bigger than 90, it's an obtuse triangle. So then he went over to the next triangle and he said, well, wait a minute. The longest side now is less than. The longest side squared is less than the sum of the lengths of the other two sides squared. And when I have an angle that's less than, well, that means I have an acute triangle because there's an acute angle. And then he went over to the third triangle. And in that third triangle, he noticed that the longest side squared was equal to the sum of the lengths of the other two sides squared. And when it's equal, it turned out that that triangle was just right.